podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's Unique House. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my dad will walk on. Hey, man. Hey, man. This guy right here don't need no introduction, guys. This guy here is uh, one of the ones that basically, when things are out of order, he always come through. Chairman is in the building. And, and anytime there's any type of situation where he can be a help to the community, he's always uh, jumped up and came to the forefront, man. And uh, we we just we down here in Houston, Texas, and we wanted to just uh, you know sit down with him for a minute. We sat down with him in Chicago, mm -hmm. and you know I got to put a few little old clips out, but. Today is my day, man, of redemption when it comes down to getting back with my boy. Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. is in the building on Boss Talk 101. What's going on, man? Good to be back. Good to be black with you, you know. <laughs> and um, like you said, we in Chicago, we got to listen to that, you know. That was a great day, yeah, too. Yeah, great day. Um, and cast me on my heels but just, just from seeing the initial clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, even like, where's, where's the rest of it coming? You Gotta know? have it. Yeah but, yeah. but it's because of the electrifying way that you present yourself, man. Like, when we out there and you talking to these kids, man, and you giving them the, the really things that can help save their life, man. You speaking life into a situation where somebody might make a wrong turn. Yeah. And, and even before they can even get there, you, you predicting positivity. Yeah. And I think that's hard. Well, I got you know, I, get, I, I got to get credit where credit is due. Uh, I'm honored and humbled to serve the people, you know. And um, I tell people a lot of times, one, one, one of my matches is that my last name is Hampton, not Houdini. So I ain't no, you know, I ain't no magician, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate. We fortunate, you know. what I'm saying again, and, and we got, you know, we got a lot of scars and bars and a lot of damaged goods. But however, um, the politics and the. the um, Panther, as we refer to the Panther politics, mm -hmm. to be armed with that, it gives us the ability to you know to, um, to see them diamonds in the rough. You know, what I'm saying you know contradictions and all through, through, uh, through the good, the bad, and the ugly, and not in the abstract, idealistic way like you know like you know just dismissing our struggles and contradictions, but to be able to see what we refer to as principal contradictions. In other words, what causes the damage? You know, what I'm saying and and also you know um, to distinguish. Um, Messed up situations, you know what I'm saying, or, or messed up actions from messed up people. And, you know, because a lot of times our community in particular, we forced to deal with um, absolutes, you know what I'm saying, in other words, just to write, write our community up, write our people up. But the politics, you know, and, uh, um, it gives the ability, you know what I'm saying, to assess the situation and, get, you know, get, and, um, as, 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 as one, this one war tactician that said, give people a place to land, how we can move forward. Yeah, yeah. Now, when you when you when you really think about it, uh, you know, Chairman, you down here in Houston, Texas, man, um, uh, really didn't know. I didn't plan to see you yeah. here. Didn't know he was going to be. I did not know. Like I talked, you know, I talked to Larry Hoover Jr. Yeah. I talked to King Noah, yeah. but he didn't tell me. You know, this was a surprise for yeah. me. So it was a pleasant surprise when I seen you. Same here. It made me feel like, man, I got to see Fred. It's Same like it, I, like a kid in a candy store, Same you know. Mm -hmm. So it just was a blessing to be able to, you know, link back up with you once again, man. So it ain't nothing but God, man. So I believe in a higher source of power, man, and I believe that to be God for me. And I just love the fact of uh, that He put us together here today. Really Right, talk right. all the night, huh? Yes. Knock on wood, you know. A lot of, a lot of best moves are made, you know what I'm saying? Are not laid out point by point, blow by blow. It's not, it's not planned, you know what I'm saying? I ain't expect to see y'all, but you know, again, we going to make history, take history, and take history. Already, <laughs> man. Yeah. But I wanted to ask, because I remember the last time when we were in Chicago, and um, when we went outside, we saw that young man pull yeah. up and was talking to you. And you all, you gave like a full blown, I would say, a sermon or a lecture right there and then. Yeah. How often does something like that happen? I, um, ironically, uh, like one of our, one of our matches, we say, you know, um, our work hours are twenty four hours a day. Mm -hmm. uh, we work for the people. The streets is our office, mm -hmm. and the sidewalks and gangways that's our desk. Mm -hmm. And the brothers and sisters you see out there on the, on the corners, them our secretaries, and that and that's not no, no cliche, it's, you know, sort of way like. I, I look forward today, like we can get like a, a real deal, like a, a reality show with you no, know, like uh, from, from the not a bird's eye view, from the uh, Black Panther Party Cubs view, you know, just the day to day. I can't can't make it up, you know what I'm saying? Because again, that's our office, and this whole, the reason why I'm late coming here today, calls from Cook County Jail, you know, and this, this brother was just talking about, you know, you say how he's um, he's he gets some, he, he been locked up since he's 18 years old. Mm -hmm. He's thirty. He's, uh, hold on. He's forty-nine years old now, mm -hmm. 
And he said, I think he said, uh, he, he, about, he looking forward to getting released in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. And doing the interview, they was asking me, how do you feel, you know, going, you know, going back to society, you know, with some of your fondest memories. And he said, before he even came, he thought he was going to talk to me. He said, he actually he told him, he said, man, listen to the politics with Chairman Fred, you know. And, I, and when he said it, I said, man, I don't feel like, oh, you don't feel right. go back. But he, he, he gave vivid details when I was uh, in the basement of my, my mother's home. And with the VA, uh, the VHS for the younger one, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 VHS yeah. tapes, VHS. you know, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the VHS tapes, and um, with the Panther Party, you know, mm -hmm. the footage, and you know, brothers reminded me. One brother reminded me one time. He said, "I remember we had a physical rumble because mm -hmm. he was saying he was laughing at the clothes that they had on." He say, and I, I said, "He said, Chairman, you kind of took it personal." We got into it, and I, and I said, "Man, these cats feeding people, and you do laughing at their clothes." Mm -hmm. And this, you know, this. Um, so I, I try to, you know. Struggle to like document a lot of this stuff, you know, because again, and not um, talking about the work that I do subjectively, but even like, you know, actually the Black Panther Party did. It is, it's, it's a um, unconventional uh, ways of doing it. A lot of people, you know, saying a lot of people see certain actions, but it's, 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 it's been like um, we refer to a state sanction. Everything we do is revolutionary, you know, since so on our terms, like you know, so our titles, you know, so how we, you know, how we, when Chairman Fred organized the Rainbow Coalition. A lot of people, you know, so they they they, they forced to uh, be subjected to robber rules of orders or to speak the Queen's English, but it's, it's a it's a, a cleansing process to be able to fight on our own terms. Even as Malcolm X said, even our mistakes belong to us, mm -hmm. and that struggle for self determination, and it heightens the contradictions and opens and moves, removes that ceiling where people, you know, what I'm saying they don't have this fear factor, you know, so to make mistakes or you know, so to, to, to be able to organize, and this and the politics gives us the, the ability to see. This was that biblical term they say, uh, remove the film from your eyes, mm -hmm. or, you know, to, to be able to see the different dynamics. You know, like as opposed to referring to, like I tell cats, we we organize a tribe truce on the Black Panther Party Cubs, mm -hmm. as this is like 1992, as opposed to a peace treaty. And you know, what I'm saying and, and the terms we use is not just for no, no slick sound bite, but just to, to, put, to put it in its correct political context. Like a lot of young cats, we say, they say gang, gang. Now, mm -hmm. those are fighting words, you know what I'm saying? Offensive words. Because we, we, some we people don't know. So, you know, knowledge is power. And if we can educate these younger people of what they're doing, they might do better. No doubt about it. You know what I'm saying? They, like, and you see other respective communities. They, they take issue you know, about stressing about the significance of words and terms. Right. You, know, you know what I'm saying? I tell you, our, our community, I told we don't, it, it doesn't, you know. They use words so loosely. Loosely. When I mean, we taught this, you know what I'm saying? We, we, um, we 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 uh, a lot of time we we, uh, we regurgitate regurgitate reactionary rhetoric like sticks and stones may break my bones right. words never hurt me but that's no that's, that's, not, that, true. that's not true mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so even the, 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 even the organizations you know so you've seen a dynamic like a, um, a climate during the Black Power movement of the '60s where the Black Stone Rangers became you know, became a Black Peace Stone Nation mm -hmm. the Devil Disciples get up publicly and said we now renounce ourselves to be known as the Black Disciples due to the political education we received from Chairman Fred and Black Panther Party. You seen the vice lords at the Free Medical Center. You seen the, the music. You seen what James Brown had up the ante. He was gonna say he had to come out with, with a trap. But, but you know when you see, but when you see these organizations who started out um, with the the purpose of helping their community, helping people, and then now when we ask some people what you think about these organizations now, I'm not talking about your organizations, but just organizations in a general, and a lot of them have drifted away from the original purpose that they were created from. You know, some of them are, whether they include violence in it, as they, they concentrate more on that than really just helping their people as much. What do you think about that? I think we should first start with, start with the, the clear premise and not to be idealistic, idealistic. Like, a lot of these organizations, you know what I'm saying, I mean, just being organ like, organizations are natural dynamics, natural phenomena, you know, so we had in Africa, tribes, and it's not necessarily uh, in a lot of cases, it wasn't necessary to go help the community out. Just, just being in a certain community, you, 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 you connect with each other. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So that's, that's, a, that's a natural it's a phenomenon, a natural phenomenon. And the deal is, we, any, any uh, uh, Minister U.E.P. Newton said power, fighting for power. Power is the ability to define phenomena and make it act in a desired manner. Power is the ability to define phenomena and make it act in a desired manner. A phenomenon is an unusual event that could be scientifically explained. And we've seen the cases like the church. Reverend Nat Turner seen that during the era of chattel slavery, the church was a phenomenon. He defined it. And he said, okay, praise the Lord, past ammunition. 
Without, in our communities, the respective organizations. We have to, we talk about music, talk about hip hop, street organizations, any phenomenon. We cannot afford the luxury just to say, just, uh, organization for organization's sake. We must recognize something that a lot of people refuse to acknowledge, that there's a war waged on us. You know, you feel what I'm saying? Terms like COINTELPRO, counterintelligence program. Mm -hmm. It's an old saying, like, you, 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 even economics. A lot of the times we say, just get our money together, we'll be all right. It's old. It's an old axiom that goes. You know, sometimes black folks roll up two nickels together and make a dime. White folks gonna make it a crime. Right. So we gotta come through the door. You know, so with a clarity. You know, what I'm saying to every dime. You know, what I'm saying, oh, you paranoid, you tripping. And I tell when I go speak in places, they say, oh, he come chairman Fred. He always gonna blame the white man or the government, and we do. Now, I gotta ask you this though, and 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 it's something else when you start to look at it. You've been seeing Kanye and what happened I was with Kanye. About that. Um, just the the way that um, um they the. You know, they say he was a billionaire. Now they say he ain't a billionaire no more. Just on the dime of conversation, uh, he loses this deal. He loses that deal. Um, what type of a, 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 a situation do you see forth from him on his situation of what he spoke on, and who holds the power? I'm glad that we we, we even the stage in the game that we can even you know uh, that be in that conversation. Yeah, in this conversation. Be in that conversation. You know, this is and this is something that even. Force from, you know, saying from all walks of life. In fact, um, was it was the, uh, Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah. They said his response to Dave Chappelle's uh, skit on Saturday Night Live. He said, he said, well, at least he, he said there needs to be a conversation. Yeah. See, one of the disadvantages that us, I, you know, say our, our communities in particular have, mm -hmm. is a non-acknowledged war. What I mean by that is, other communities have the luxury slash, uh, the, excuse me, the advantage slash disadvantage of an acknowledged war. What I mean by that, you, when you talk about Nazi Germany, they're turning, you'll say it's acknowledged. You, you, a holocaust, a political prison, so on and so forth. There's uh, uh, in, um, Vietnam and China, you hear terms like propaganda bombs. The, 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 the quote unquote music, that's, 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 these choices my bond with. Any else we refer to, you know, propaganda bombs. You know what I'm saying? What's happening in Chicago, AKA Chirac. Any other place the term of genocide would be acknowledged. You know what I'm saying? If there was 55 poodles, white poodles that came up dead in one day in Chicago, national emergency would be called. You know what I'm saying? So that's a, even even when former U.S. Ambassador or Andrew Young, when he when he slipped up and said there were political prisons in the United States, they put the pressure down and he had to back up. You know, you know what I'm saying? The U.S. even refused to acknowledge the contradiction. You know what I'm saying? In, in other communities, they like even talk, they're talking about the opium crisis now. What happens to the white community? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it's us, it's dismissed. You know what I'm saying? So even back to, to the heart of the question, that we in a stage in the game to, to at least acknowledge. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the question of power, because a lot of times. And our, uh, our community have been forced to have a reactionary response who can't, many people can't distinguish money from power. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Cash was talking about, well, I get all this resource. And even, him, even Kanye himself said, it took, he said, that dynamic, that dynamic of two days, you know what I'm saying, estimated $2 billion. What, what, do, you, what, what do you say? Well, um, you went to Las Vegas, lost the money, or you made a bad business deal. Somebody in power. You feel what I'm saying? That, that, not only with the question of economics, the question of what, you know, what sort of music, what's offensive, you can you know, say like you're talking about racism, you can feel all how you want to feel with the, the, the dynamic of power, who can impact, you know what I'm saying, the minds and hearts of the people, in, every, a lot of people say, I only talk about politics, but everything is political. Food, clothing, and shelter, how it's distributed, how you receive it, and even the impact, the trickle down impacts, what they refer to as the term I have issue with, we have issue with, black on black crime. Mm -hmm. They'll say, how do you wonder why black people in particular are viewed as the Rodney Dangerfields of all races for the younger generation? <laughs> Rodney, Rodney Dangerfield. Dangerfield. Oh, oh, comedian who yeah. his, his thing was matched with, um, I don't get no respect. I don't get no respect. It's, it's, it's actions that you feel comfortable, that you can do, to, you know, and it's not all, like people say, we start in the home. You cannot negate the, the, the external factors, you know what I'm saying? And everything, dude, we're talking about, man, major shot caller, uh, uh, Ari Emanuel, yeah. who said, shut it down, who's, who's biolog one of his biological brothers, Ron Emanuel, the former mayor of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Every, when it come down to it, you see, in a, we on the heels of what we refer to as reactionary times. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I'm saying? This is a, and this, you can correlate it. To that of the 60s, you know what I'm saying? You know, when the Black Panther Party was, was, was laying out uh, hiding certain contradictions, you had certain reactionary elements, you feel what I'm saying? And you was able to move forward to a revolutionary climate, you know what I'm saying? Where, where people start revolutionary climate, where people are asking questions, conversations like, you know, what's, what's the ingredients in this, in, this, in, this, in this food that's in my community? Why, why there's sodium in, in, in the cans in our community? Why, who, 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 who calls the shots with Adidas? Who's behind Nike? As a, a lot of times, you just you, know, you take it for what it is, face value. You know what I'm saying? 
Any you say that you gonna see a, in doing revolutionary times, you see a different sort of athlete, a different sort of comedian. You know what I'm saying? You can't come with just some some simple, you know, what I'm saying reactionary rhetoric. You seen in the '60s, you know, what I'm saying when Andy was being upped. Well, you know what I'm saying? Right up in the city, um, people who was, who was in the sausage factory. You know what I'm saying? When you earth a kid, saying right in the White House, asking, you know what I'm saying, the president and the wife, what, what is your son's position? Is your, is your son in Vietnam fighting? It wasn't uh, no position where you can push it to the side, so that's that political stuff. Music, relationships. In fact, Chairman Fred would say the best dressed brother was one in a leather jacket in the 45. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You, you know what I'm saying? It was a dynamic. It wasn't, it wasn't relegated to who got the most money. The, the, the sort of movies, the sort of conversations, you know what I'm saying? And Lenin, Russia, the Russian Revolution, Lenin said it would take people 20 years to learn in ordinary times. They learn in two years in revolutionary times. Let you know me ask you this. Will Kanye be able to establish himself back as a business, a prominent businessman in, in, in the game? Well, first of all, I'm not, I'm not in a position, to, uh, <laughs> in a humble, you know what I'm saying? Because the, the deal is, we, we, one, the deal is, it's just humbling. It's, I tell you, it's, it's embarrassing being oppressed. Okay. That's, it's, you know, I'm telling you from the you know, oppressed community. But the, 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 the turn the lights on, you know, it has to say, knowing it's half the battle, to heighten who's pulling the strings. And the deal is, to heighten the contradictions with the people, you know, say, when we say power to the people, that's not just some sort of abstract, cliche term. There was a climate where the people can make this in who we, who we want, who was the artist, you know what I'm saying? Who was the representatives as opposed to the state sanctioned representatives mm -hmm. in the tech, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, like in the 60s, I'm, I'm correlating this, you know what I'm saying, prior to the black power movement, there was certain leadership, quote unquote leadership and certain state sanctioned individuals who were given to you and America's definition of diplomacy is letting others have their way. Mm. In other words, the facade of you thinking like, yeah, I chose that. We you know, look in our community, the sort of uh, organizations that, that were given to and you, you think, yeah, that's how I leave. Where they come from? You know what I'm saying? So you see a climate like you seen in uh, Mike Brown Town, aka Ferguson, where the uprising start happening, where people start saying, no, this is the spokesperson for us, and you know, and utilizing various forms of technology. You know what I'm saying? Say, I don't uh, uh, get a uh, uh, go along with the new. In fact, to the point where the ruling class, the, the ma mainstream media. They would start quoting with the masses what social media said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You flip the script. Mm -hmm. Because see, once the people recognize that their power base, it's like in India. In India, when they train the elephant in India, if that elephant sees the trainer step on a, 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 a step on a paper cup, that elephant, if, that, if that particular elephant sees a trainer step on that cup and the elephant steps on that cup, that particular elephant has to be destroyed or transferred. Mm -hmm. Reason being, because he gonna basically matters, well, wait a minute. He gonna get back to what the rest of the elephants they did. I ain't took no no math class, but I seen the results of that cup when I stepped on it, and as opposed to the, the trainer stepped on it, it's no way he, he pulled me back here with the little softball whip controlling us. You know what I'm saying? Once you heighten the contradictions, you'll be surprised. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the man, the, man, the, the, in the movie Judas and the Black Messiah, that's what we that that, that part with the former director of the FBI, Jagger Hoover, portrayed by Martin Sheen, mm -hmm. when he said, "Oh, this how they mouth, this how the, this how the pigs mouth, not the horses mouth, the pigs mouth." This is documented. What they said, man, the Black Panther Party. We talking about a, a group, the, the yeah. group that basically ranged from brothers and sisters ranged from 14 to 24 years old. Mm -hmm. They said the Black Panther Party was represents powerful. the number one threat to the internal security of the United States in the Civil War. Yeah. Chairman, Fred, before he was chairman, for his FBI file stopped when he's fourteen years old. Mm -hmm. They know our potential. Let me ask you this, and I got and since you brought up the, I want to ask you about. Into, his, I have um, something about Kanye I wanted to say. Okay. So, um, with all that he said and how it opened the eyes of many people, do you feel like it will cause any change, or people it'll just blow mm -hmm. over and go back to what it was? Let me say this. Let me give you a little background. As we say, a little background. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no absolute. Okay, let me look at the past history. You know, it was a situation some years back. Uh, this was in response to what we refer to as Hurricane America. A lot of people called it Hurricane Katrina. I mean, this, 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 I may have talked about this when we recorded, mm -hmm. but down at, uh, uh, we had a conversation, you know what I'm saying, with Kanye West, this years back at Borders Bookstore. And I was, you know what I'm saying, I, I was talking about the, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the artists, and I, I, gave, I, I, I gave him an example. I talked about even when certain people had to spotlight on them. This, this is an uh, aspect of the Black Panther Party, code of culture. This mm -hmm. is the actual code we have. 
Mm-hmm. And we talk to artists. And so we like we be doing these artists, we we're not come like you no know, groupies and nothing like that. We we going to win these different forces to certain points of unity. You follow mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because we don't we don't just relegate our politics to some quote unquote conscious circles. So when I matches with that is there are too many of us in Sing Sing for some casts to be talking about some bling bling. Right. So I, I'm telling him the history about people like uh, Bernadette Devlin of the Irish Republican Army. How when she was given the keys to, 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 to the keys of the city of New York, she turned the keys over to the Black Panther Party. I was later, shortly after that, when he made this statement about you know saying about George Bush not, not liking black people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying to say. A lot of times we, 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 we look at struggle, look at uh, climate change, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I say climate change, let me be very clear, because I, I go to see different cities, I say, what's the climate? Right. They say, well, it's, it's cool. They say, no, when the see, chairman say, what's the climate? See, not everybody the, understand what that the means. The political climate. Right. It's different dynamics, you know what I'm saying? Reactionary elements, you know what I'm saying? It's like a meal. you like, what made that meal stand out? What made the, the, the 60s, you know what I'm saying? What, a lot of people say the Watts Rebellion just happened because uh, police hit this one like, No, it's different dynamics. What, what caused the uprisings and, and out of, you know what I'm saying? You have, to, you have to put in context Field Marshal George Jackson, you know what I'm saying? The different, the different attacks. You can never negate the different, this, you, you, so the, even the attacks that come with it, the heat. In fact, we say. So it's a chain reaction. This it's, has it's, to it's, a, it's, a com- it's a combination of things. It's we a say, combination he turns He turns more than me black. With that, with that match, with that, that's when I, the, the codes black, you know what I'm saying? That's when I, uh, assessments. You know what I'm saying? Certain heat, you know what I'm saying? You just can't take out certain uh, statements and certain actions. You say, whoa, some dynamic had to happen. Michael Jackson first said, don't make a difference if you black or white. When he caught that case, it's too <laughs> changed. They don't really care about us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's a cat called me yesterday from Cook County Jail. He running down point by point. You know what I said? I said, damn, you remember all this? Yeah. The heat is on them. You follow what I'm saying? So you, so these, so a lot of times we, we like, even struggle, like even unimpacted. By the dynamics that happened, my, my prenatal care. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As opposed to Dr. Stethoscope with Chicago Police Department's revolver, put him on my mama's pregnant belly eight and a half months. That was my first, that was my American History 101. You know what I'm saying? So these, so the deal is, the all they're saying, not have a subjective assessment. You know what I'm saying? And not like in revolution, as Minister U.E.P. Newton said, it's not a, a dinner date. It's a protracted struggle. You know what I'm saying? Tug and pull. So ain't no absolutes. You know what I'm saying? Where we at now? Because believe you know the Machiavellian system. You know, they say they will flip the script. You know what I'm saying? They you know saying to make the, the criminalize the victims and to, re, to redirect your assessment. You go in to my man. We talking about this. Next thing you know, to they get some uh, some concessions to, to, to some to somebody else or to another entity. Like, oh, we we made it. Mm-hmm. So it's a constant battle. Mm-hmm. It's a constant battle. Let me ask you this: When you uh you you just mentioned about the uh, the father the father about. Your mother having a gun put to mm-hmm. to her stomach when you was eight months old. When you was eight, when she was eight months eight pregnant. Months pregnant. Um, how old were you when you kind of understood what was going on with the way that the you know like the officers and the way that 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 they were you know that your your life could be in jeopardy at any time and that they had already assassinated your father. Like like how old was you when you really it clicked for you? I can't, I can't really say when it, they call it the aha moment. Yeah, yeah. And also, we have to be able to distinguish that Stephen Bigo of the Black Conscious Movement said that black people in particular must grasp the ability to distinguish intelligence from the ability to articulate. So it always was a basic understanding. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, okay, man, the police ain't your friends. They're not coming to get no cats out the trees. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I, it reminds me, I mean, I got suspended from school from writing about Chairman Fred. Really? So I, I t- like people tell How old were you when that happened? Oh, I think I was, th- I think third third or fourth grade, I think. It was, you was writing about, about, writing yeah, about yeah, Chairman? Yeah, yeah. And it's always, it's like, 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 people talking about now, like, man, you know, man, this system's sick. I said, what? You got some breaking news? You, you, and so it's certain things that was, you know, like a given, to, you know what I'm saying? But, but the, the ability to articulate, to put in this correct context, you know what I'm saying? The, the arm of the politics, it was, it's, been a, it's been a process, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because again, you, none of us are detached from the outside community. Like, I have an issue when people say that oh, just as long as you do what you're going to do in the home, everybody's straight. We all impacted by imperialism. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The politics of it. Field Marshal George Jackson said capitalism not only affects the economy, but it affects the psyche of the people. This, you know what I'm saying? To be engaged in a conversation with other people. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Castle's saying, man, man, he think he back in the 60s. You know what I'm saying? He way back then. So that limits your ability to move forward with certain assessments. Yeah, let me ask you this. Like, like when your, um, like, when did your mom explain to you uh, about safety with the police or safety when you go into school? Did she start that off? She had to start real early with you because it was a, it was a shadow. I've accused my mother, comrade, 
who was my A1 from day one. Mm-hmm. I, I joke with it now, I say, you know, sometimes I think maybe me and you, like, was subjective, you know what I'm saying? Because stuff, like, it was a given, and I just, I'm, you know, we have thought that other people, you know what I'm saying, like, knew who Malcolm X was, knew, knew, knew what the police right. do to you, you know what I'm saying? And the deal is, you, we, cannot, we, can't, we can't be subjective, because the reality is, stuff that, like, I mean, I, as a child, like, even some things that you just see, like, go and get ice cream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would have to wait when the ice cream truck come down, I had, to, I had to sit back and make sure it's not a good Yuma ice cream truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because good Yuma was used by the federal government to, you know, saying to, to help frame Chairman Fred for the. They say he took seventy one dollars for ice cream and yeah. gave it to the children. So this is conversation, like, like you know, like. And how much time did he get when he did that? When they arrested him years, for that? Right? They, 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 uh, since, um, he was fake, I think the max was ought to be, uh, to, to be twenty, but he got out. I got out on appeal bond mm. in August, uh, August 13, 1969. Uh, and that's when they upped the ante and said they had to take him out because he, he got out on he was out on the appeal bond and was uh, uh, possibly to be taken back in late December because he, he, okay. he, he was still still fighting the case. Yeah. But I guess you can correlate it also with certain cats growing up in certain you know saying you, like it was a big thing some years back in uh, this child in the Philippines smoking cigarettes and they're like man that, that's 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 crazy that baby smoking cigarettes but they went over there and they seen all the tobacco ads and they seen all, all, it's, all it's all the babies doing it over here. Mm. So you know what I'm saying? It's a climate that I grew up in, that, you know what I'm saying? Like discussions of Africa, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But again, I was deprived of the outside, you know, the, the community. See, like when, when Nipsey Hussle, when he talking about when he went back to his homeland. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When he talking about it, Richard, how they would call the dawn, they would shut the whole city down. The family come, you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they pray. That impacts you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have people talking about that, 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 even the, uh, uh, the, the Jewish community, they talk about that as certain, Friday is known. They, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Certain times, stop what you're doing. They come pray, you know. Our communities, I'm using that term loosely, are so destabilized. A lot of us have an issue with structure. See, we, we're fed certain things like structure is bad. You know what I'm saying? And I, a, lot of time, a lot of times people's first contact is structures from the state. Man, one of America's policies is to create chaos, then restore order. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Without structure, you know what I'm saying? We say Chairman Fred, Minister, Minister, Minister Defense, UEP News, this ain't no ego tripping thing. You know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's checks and balances. I'm Chairman, I'm coming from Chicago, was one of the most organized, structured, not only segregated, structured place. You know what I'm saying? In fact, Crack, Chicago was the last major city that the government was able to bring crack cocaine in. They had to kill, kill Flukey Stokes and lock up Chief Molly, AKA Jeff Ford. Destabilize, you know what I'm saying? You destabilize, take away the communication, you know what I'm saying, the transportation, destabilize, no structure, in a family, in a household. You come and say, man, I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, do it whatever you wanna do, huh? No, that's the bathroom, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A structure. So, the, the, the structure, it, man, it keeps checks and balances, man. I, I, I got to ask you about this because we in Houston, man. Um, I just want to ask you about that. We, you know, we uh, we lost uh, 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 one of the one of the major artists here uh, take off uh, a, a yeah. few weeks ago. And, you know, you guys in Chicago, you know, I remember when we was in Chicago and we interviewed you the first time you you uh, you basically told me that had been, I believe, 20 some almost 30 shootings that just that night you yeah. know alone um but when you hear of an artist this big you know i know did you hear about it when you was in chicago what had happened with takeoff here yeah, in yeah, houston yeah what does that do you know what is what is that you know like how does that look is it just is our our people you know sometime you know is it because of the oppression and the place and the pressure that we've been put in to put us to these positions where one might be angry we don't know the groups of people who are hanging out late at night or, or who are doing we don't know how do we organize i love the fact that you speak on structure because that structure is so important when you're dealing with lives especially when money and power and all kind of stuff is pretty much in the midst of evolution you know what i'm saying yeah. while you're dealing with these situations but how does that what is that you know rap uh, rap is a musical thing. You mentioned Nipsey Hussle, another one that had been, been uh, you know, uh, pretty much assassinated in front of his store by, you know, and it's black on black crime. What do you say to that? Well, first, I'm going to the latter part of, you know, I, again, I have an issue with the term black on black crime, you know, whether, you know, directly, indirectly. Okay. Uh, the state, the system is, you know, saying pulls the strings, pulls the trigger. We, uh, we, we can correlate to we talk about Rwanda. You know, a lot, okay. of people, a lot of people have a reactionary assessment. Just say, well, the Hutus just killing the Tutsis, you know, and negating how the French, the Belgium, you know, what I'm saying had exploited 
Hmm. Class contradiction, you know what I'm saying? They negate the, the, what came over the radio broadcast right before uh, this, this plane got shot down in Rwanda? What, you know what I'm saying? Who, who brought the, the big knives and sheaves and gave them to respect the community? Yeah. Who came it on and took one, one respective side of the community and said, okay, now you're going to judge the ones that, 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 that was used to kill you at first? You feel what I'm saying? Hmm. See, our communities are a crime scene. Okay. And a criminal psychologist said the first thing you have to do when you go to a crime scene is what? Who benefited? You know what I'm saying? Who been a Who, see, like, we be so emotional, Carl. We just be, oh man, such such kill son. You can be, check our emotions. It's pulling our emotions. Check us. Yeah. And start saying, whoa, wait a minute, man. It's the same entities that's benefiting of this bloodshed. You follow, you follow what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, who you benefit? Know, if, it, if it was just one or two cases, say, okay, man, okay. You, know, you go to Las Vegas and say, man, that machine right there, every time somebody go there, man, ain't nobody never won. Every time these different, you know what I'm saying, in Chicago, when these artists sign, they mysteriously quote unquote die. At some point in the stage in the game, you say, hey, hold on, man. It's something going down with this here, man. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it, 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 even if it's directly or indirectly, in other words, see, once, see, Field Marshal George Jackson say capitalism not only affects the economy, but it affects the psychic of the people. Okay. How we deal with each other, mm -hmm. our, like, our relationships, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, like, you, like, okay, they, they, they acknowledge them, they're saying, I'm talking about the system, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. the string pullers. During the, the pandemic, during the pandemic, they talking about the divorce the rate, how it started going up. They, they, they didn't just say, all of a sudden, these people are Scorpios and Virgos. They, they said, man, this, this situation is climbing, it's impacting relationships, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But with us, we they flat us, or oh, it's something we did on our own. No, you can't negate the outside circumstances. You, when you talk about dog, you say, man, the, the weather. When they kidnapped us, they say, okay, we're going to put this one on, uh, on Virginia. We're going to put this one in the tobacco fields. We're going to put this one in the cotton fields. Not because they are Sagittarius and Aquarius. They take the, 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 the history, your DNA, where you come from, all that. When they target us, they say, okay, this is the go-getter. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you said the, the climate, you know what I'm saying? So the, the certain things are cool, certain things ain't cool. You know, it's, it's certain dynamics, you know what I'm saying? How we did relationships, you know what I'm saying? You can literally, you can literally connect the dots to certain times of periods of domestic violence, to, you know what I'm saying, infiltration, the type of music. They, they say uh, the Isley brothers are responsible for a lot of babies being made. That's real talk. Mm -hmm. That's real, and it, the, the, the music, you know what I'm saying? The music. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, man, look at the type of quote unquote, I'm like the type of quote unquote, prop, no, I ain't no quote unquote, the type of propaganda bombs that they drop on us. You go, get one of these shows, get on the phone at 7 in the morning, call Detroit, call Cleveland, call LA, call Chicago, and say, man, you get the same, you, you, they feeding you the same slop. So you before, this before 8 in the morning, you ride, you, you, you get raped, killed, shot, this before 8 in the morning. These propaganda bombs being dropped on you, you know what I'm saying? In Vietnam, the Vietnamese had these propaganda bombs where they would drop them in particular, they would drop them in Saigon. Why Saigon? That's why the black soldiers was concentrated at. The propaganda bombs would bust open. It'd be leaflets in there. They'd say, why are you over here fighting this war? They gov they just, your government just assassinated Dr. King. It just assassinated Chairman Fred. You know what I'm saying? The, the, this took away, so you got soldiers up in the, in the foxhole saying, whoa, we'll be over here, you know what I'm saying? It impacted them. This, this is war tactics. Yeah. If, I, if they told you this type of man, go turn to one of the white radio stations. It, it's, a, it's a white dude called Pastor Mike. When he said the words in the quote unquote songs, you know what I'm saying? Man, you say, whoa, it sounds different from him saying it. You, 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 can, you, can, you can pull, man, you can play that type of, go to a dog kennel. Go to a dog kennel and see if you can play that to them dogs. And that, it, it, it ain't one go. It ain't let me go. When a boxer come in to fight, they say, they say hold on, man, who, who the child gonna listen to? You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to us, you have this reactionary rhetoric. Oh, it don't make a difference. What type of, that's nonsense. It's war, man. It's war waged on the, ain't no war on drugs, ain't no war on guns, ain't no war on gangs. It's war on our black asses, man. Wow, so when you look at the, the music and what's being said and the way that the things are being launched, this is where you start to see the, uh, you know, the, the different things that are happening. Um, let me ask you, man, oh, you, what you got? No, um, I know you guys. Yeah, so. I wanted to go back to um, school a little bit. When I think about, because I was asking someone earlier, I said, okay, when you were in school, did you ever learn about um, Fred Hampton, the history? And they were like, no, they don't teach that stuff in school. And I'm like, why not? It's history, it's black history. So this was something that even in, when you were younger in school, it wasn't taught. Oh, and I'm clear why I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and are they teaching it now? No, we, in fact, we, we, struggle with, we struggle with some different schools now to implement the, we have an actual uh, edu a educational curriculum mm -hmm. that came out of Judas and the Black Messiah right. and, and say the Hampton House. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we, so even the, it's, it's an elementary school right across the street from the Hampton House in Maywood. 
er, the same school that he, Chairman Frey, as a child attended. Mm. So we trying to get that there in other places. So we, it's a climbing now where those questions can be asked. A lot of times, you know what I'm saying? We just, it's taking this for, it's a given. You, know, you just don't, you know, right. don't you talk think about that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But Especially black, you know what they call black history. Yeah. Month. I'm like, even in that you, month. In that month, can we get that? Could no, we you gonna, that? no, you're going to get what you're going to, you're going to get your back, you're going to get your Michael Jordan, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get your, your athletes, you're going to get, they're going to give you this, and no disrespect a lot, they're going to give us the more palatable individuals. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, man. Because they feel like if, this knowledge is shared. You might have an uprising. Is that the reason why? It's, you you have a different you you have a different sort of child, different sort of a, a demeanor. You have a you start finding you start connecting. You no disrespect to Rosa Parks. You start connecting that this sister Claudette Colvin. This young sister, you know, what I'm saying who, who they want to talk about, you know, saying she's pregnant, she's dark skin. You start, you say, oh, I can relate to her. You know, what I'm saying it becomes a problem. You start connecting to some cats, fourteen to twenty four years old. Mm. You start hearing some real deal war stories about a cat who was saying who in, in Maywood the FBI called for his my grandparents' telephone to be tapped when he was 13, 14 years old to the junior NAA speech with seven three hundred members in the seven hammer time period. You start hearing about this cat who went down and seen white people in the Melrose Park swimming and said, Man, ain't no black children got no swimming pool and challenged it. Went there, 12 years old, went down to the police station, took some branches, cardboard, took two or three students with him. Protested, the police threw tear gas canisters at him. He took the live tear gas can and threw it back in the police station. You start hearing that, you say, Whoa, wait a minute. So, no, you're not going to talk about that. You're going to force feed them. You're also going to force feed them. They'll say these other, these, 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 stop, these state sanctioned spokespersons, you know what I'm saying? You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna tell them this, this, this mythology that you have to wait till a certain age to talk about politics. You know what I'm saying? It's going to become a second nature. In Nazi Germany, Excuse me, the victims of the victims of the gas here in Nazi Germany, they respect the community consider it child abuse if you don't tell your children what happened in the right. gas chamber. Right. Wow. They don't flip the script on they don't flip the script on us. Mm -hmm. Then it's child abuse to tell your children what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I gotta ask you about the uh, you remember when we was in Chicago, um, we went up to the park. And the park, uh, of course, the pool was shut down. The recreation with what, what you know, uh, uh, Chairman Free at Hampton, uh, the park. Did they ever open the park back up? Is, right. Has anybody did anything to try to get to the park? That, that's on Fifth, uh, and, uh, at the aquatic the people go uh, right. the aquatic center. We, we, it's been closed for. Decades. It's, it's, it's been closed for decades because yeah. I didn't know when we got there. Yeah. I just seen I seen his name and I yeah. seen all the statues. I seen his and statue. Why is it closed? Why is it closed? It's been before the pandemic. They, the position was they, the, a lack of funds and they had, first of all they had no lifeguards. So we went and got some. We got some cats. I should go get to get their certification become right. lifeguard. So all this part of heightening the contradictions. So now it supposed to be in process. Now we looking at. In fact, we talking about the next August 30th for Chairman Fred Street Party. We put, we plan on having a pool party there. It's a it's a, it's a more progressive people there now. The, uh, the uh, mind you, Maywood is technically 21 blocks. There were people who just didn't even ask the question. They didn't even know who you know what I'm saying. Don't talk about them. So we we up and that. We need we need to support the people. Help us keep that pressure on them. You know what I'm saying? They, they got to be open. You know what I'm saying? His name right there. Because really, it's demoralizing for children. They, they, they remember that. I know adults who talk about. No, I remember going to that pool. How it mm -hmm. impacted them. So we fighting to push it, man. But, but it, it looked like it was across from either police station or public building. Yeah. Uh, am I right? Yeah. So when they put it there. How did that? How did all that transpire? The history. Give me a little how bit. How did it of, affect that? Yeah, the history of how it ends up there in the police station right there. Man, you. There was certain similar to as Malcolm said. Malcolm, Malcolm X says the, uh, the initial march on Washington. You know, initially the, the, the move was from the masses. It was a ground swell. You know, what I'm saying? that's how movement started. Not from the top down, from the ground. Mm. And the masses. We finna shut D.C. down. Right. They say ain't no planes move. We finna shut it down. Malcolm X talked about the big six. You know, he, he said, man, the ruling class, the Kennedys and the likes, they, they met at the, at the, the Carlyle Hotel, you know what I'm saying, which is owned by the Kennedys. He talked about how they said, we're going to shut this down. And he said, man, and they called certain individuals in, you know what I'm saying? They said, man, the, 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 a lot of representatives, no disrespect, the Dr. King, Ralph Abernathy, so on, and Philip yeah. Randolph. And they said, man, how can this be stopped? And they said, we can't stop it. So, so the ruling class, they, they resorted to what? Can't stop it, do what? Co-opted. 
Okay. Wore it down, change it, make something to be. Yeah. That was that, that was, was and it remains an attempt to hijack the legacy of the Black Panther Party. Mm -hmm. We it's struggles going on right now with different right now. They have created and funded different groups. I'm talking about, I'm talking about man, in the state of Illinois, Chicago, you know, that's why your the people's political muscle has to be tightened up to the point to be able to recognize the real the real deal from counterfeit. You know what I'm saying? So that was so that was different concessions put and they would they would they would read the, they change the word here. You know what I'm saying? So the water chairman Fred down. Like a lot of people we, we, we fight to put in this correct political context. You know what I'm saying? When we say chairman Fred, it's not ego tripping. It's putting the correct context. This is a structured organization. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is a checks and balances, you know what I'm saying? So we had to do after the military defeat of the Black Panther Party, the Black, you know what I'm saying, Black Power Movement, military defeat, different from ideological defeat, because ideologically they won. They came through, there was a class piece, you know what I'm saying, they, they brought certain movies in, they brought certain spokespersons in, it was a class, you know what I'm saying, certain, certain questions were not asked, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. so you can mention certain names, but it wasn't connected to what they really were, you know what I'm saying, so you see the contradictions, that's what we heightening the contradictions, just say, come on, who was Chairman Fred, why they don't want us to talk about these four, see, when we move the system with a lot of certain concessions, we have to be clear. A lot of times we get the concessions mixed up with the goal. We have to relate to what Franz Fanon said to be able to accept the concessions without compromising our principles. You know what I'm saying? The legacy of Chairman Fred, we want to uncut in the raw, no shape. Wow. I got a question. So when we watch the um, Judas the Black Messiah, the story of back then, the Black Panther Party starting up and so forth, how has the Black Panther Party progressed or excelled from back then till now? Talking pool, um, the Black Panther Party Cubs is the organization that I'm under the chair. Mm -hmm. It's the organization that's canceled on the legacy of the Black Panther Party. We do coalition. We, we, uh, some of our, um, you have to, uh, kind of like I think uh, most Dev not knows y'all seen, baby asking about the state status of hip hop. He said, you have to look at the status of the community also. So, so it's, it's, it's Vanguard Party. As revolutionaries, we have to always put in the context where we at in the people. Like a lot of times people say, what happened back then with the Black Panther Party? What happened to the community? We cannot negate certain attacks such as crack cocaine, you know what I'm saying? You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Locking us up. They hit us with some they hit us with some Hiroshima's. You know what I'm saying? There is certain so it's certain setbacks that we've had too. You know, certain you know what I'm saying, with uh, uh, certain propaganda, certain mm -hmm. moves. So it's tug and pull. You're getting rough. It's a protracted struggle. And I like this, this is another term that I said it earlier. What takes people 20 years in ordinary times, they can learn two years in revolutionary times. So you can a lot of times you can you can trigger and you can pick back up with certain you know, certain games. Right. People say, oh, we, we, we addressed this before. Mm. So it's just, so we got to uh, keep the memory bank strong. And so it's tug and pull. It's a protracted struggle. Mm. Because um, with a lot of people, okay, how can people, like, if they wanted to contribute to the Black Panther Party? Because a lot of people support Black Panther and would love to, not to say be a part of it, but would love to donate to the cause. How can they do so? One of them, we put a call out for uh, uh, Save the Hampton House, which is a major campaign we have, SaveTheHamptonHouse.org. Hit that okay. PayPal button. They also can go to um, Cash App, uh, uh, dollar sign, Save the Hampton House, PayPal, uh, Chairman Fred Jr. at gmail.com via PayPal. Let me stress that. Let me, let me stress that. Because a lot of times, like I say, good intention, structure, a lot of times, uh, it's, don't, we can never negate that there's an attempt to co opt our struggles. People call me all the time. Well, I donated to this group. I had a, I had a discussion with a, uh, 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 with a young person. I ain't gonna say sister, but I don't want them to take this person mm -hmm. earlier. And I was just clarifying when I came down to a campaign. It was certain fictitious. You know what I'm saying? It was you know, you know counterfeit situation. And I, and I would say, "Chum, just bust them out." No, our people. Certain things you gotta. Our people have to get to develop the political will, stamina to dis distinguish this the real deal. This ain't. You know what I'm saying? And this young person told me they are. Hard working in the young, 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 young person, not a potential. And I said, I said, this, that's this, this, this not this, not this. You know what I'm saying? And their response was, well, everybody means well. Mm. I said, you wouldn't do that with you. You, you couldn't come in. A, you couldn't come in the studio, and a person saying, hey man, that's such and such hip hop. He said, no, 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 that's not. What well, they mean well? You can go in your grandma's kitchen, you know what I'm saying, and make it say, hey man, that's my grandma banana bread. Man, no, that's not. You bought that from the Debbie cake. <laughs> what well, they mean well? You know what I'm saying? 
We have to, to be let's say, check, man, cross some T's and dot them I's. Be able to, we also do this organization was and remains to be under attack. So make sure you cut you cautious who you support, who you donate right. to. You know what I'm saying? Not this, a lot of times people do some Do your research. Do your re- and it's really it ain't no really difficult thing. You know what I'm saying? You could pick up, you know, like on cats on the street, they know how to pick us up, man. They, that's a dummy bag of dope. They ain't no real dope. Cats can go through, man, and they ain't no real gangster. They ain't no real, you know what I'm saying? They ain't no real, you know what I'm saying? They ain't no real podcast. You, 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 your, your, your survival skills. When it comes to our movements, all of a sudden you won't be liberal. You know what I'm saying? Well, if we all, play. no, no. Because the government know who ain't playing. It's really telltale signs. You, you, know you can pick up on it. There's a definition for the Black Panther Party. There's a politic to it. You know what I'm saying? Even when there were internal contradictions within the Black Panther Party, Kessie, man, watch him. That's a party, it's a Panther Party, it's a party member. They have no uniform. It's just, see, it's I tell you, in Chicago, it's, the structure's been corroded, but there's a time, a kid ain't gonna have no colors or nothing. Oh man, that's just one of such such men. That's the, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Your, 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 your practice of that structure of, you know what I'm saying? And you deal, you deal with legacies, which is more, legacies and lives, but a legacy is more important in your life. Let me ask you this, I wanna ask you about Jeff Ford and Larry Hoover Jr., uh, well, Larry Hoover Sr., like um, some people, say, you know, if they let them out of prison, that it would cause change. Some people say, no, the people wouldn't listen to them in Chicago. You know, that they would, the youngsters wouldn't listen, wouldn't understand, wouldn't know. Um, what do you feel about that situation? No, 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 no issue, no contradiction in our community can be limited to just, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, see, see, a lot of times the system, they do, they, they force us into absolutes. I call them, and this, I, I don't talk about you, but a lot of times the system try to put, force us into, into state, state, state's attorney's questions. In other yeah. words, they, you know, they, they ask you a question and you force, well, did you, was you there at nine o'clock? You be like, yeah, I'm, I was running, yeah, yes or no? No situation, our community, our conditions and contradictions are too complex, but you cannot negate, you know what I'm saying, the, dyna- man, the, 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 the dynamics of just even, with these, the, the, the impact, uh, 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 these two individuals in particular, in particular you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Mr. Ford, Mr. Hoover, you know, like it was a pro, um, mobilization we had some, uh, some months back. I mean, in fact, you know what I'm saying, um, protests about political prisoners. And you've seen some brothers and sisters who were demoralized. I didn't say they was crackheads. They were, that's the term we use, demoralized. They were going through some struggles. And when you've seen them brothers with them banners, what I'm saying, man, saying free, free, free man Malik, what I'm saying, free Mr. Hoover, you've seen them cats come alive. You know what I'm saying? These castles, you know what I'm saying? You've seen a backbone straighten up. You know what I'm mm-hmm, saying? Mm-hmm. This, this, in, on, on, on the Animal Channel, you know, National Geographic, they had these elephants going through, they call musk. It's like puberty. Yeah. They bumping each other. They brought a bull, two bulls down. They had, the bulls didn't have to check nobody. They, 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 they had, what they call it, with well, men, well, men, we had the pheromone. Their presence alone, you seen the, 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 the elephants tighten up, you feel what I'm saying? A climate, you feel what I'm saying? So the deal, the, the, the dynamic of it, you know what I'm saying? It's just the, the, like, even the, the, uh, that movie Avatar, they're talking like, when certain things, uh, certain individuals stand up, it changes the atmosphere, you feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, So, so you can, there's a, the importance of certain, just even to mention these, these, these like it's certain, the state know it, they yeah. know it. They, they know, know it. it'll bring change. The deal is, the community, you know what I'm saying? Don't, we want to isolate these brothers, you know what I'm saying? Make it like this the only, because that way you set the stage for something to happen. Like, the state can say, oh, it's them. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no, it's the, the, the community, you know what I'm saying? The people. But these, these, are, these are major components yeah. in our respective community. Wow, and I agree. Like, like Trump, Trump himself, he is an individual, man, you know what I'm saying? You just can't say Trump did a certain thing, but the atmosphere, yeah. he can't, he don't even know it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you have a different type of dynamic in Virginia. Now you see people who, people who, who, who doing some moonshine when you talk about no voting. You see a boldness in them. Yeah. You say, man, what the, 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 on the, uh, Trump was speaking, that old white dude, you suck that, that guy? Yeah. You can't, Trump, that, that, that battery pack, yeah, so, and, and I agree with you that with, with, with because it's a time where Larry Hoover Sr., it, he could be released. I talked to uh, Junior about it. Um, Jeff Ford, you know, been locked up a long time. I think also that it, bring, it would bring a positive light to our communities, to them young brothers no up doubt. there, to them old brothers up there. No doubt. To see our people, you know, Man, free free them all, our people free. Them free. We want to get those brothers No free. doubt about it. Yeah. Okay, um, I know home. earlier you were talking about importance of really doing your research in anything that you do. Um, I know some people out here, because people are always talking about you need to go out and vote. But I know a lot of people who, when they go and vote, they just go in and mean and mighty mode, they just vote for whoever because they're supposed to vote. They don't yeah. do research. Yeah. 
Um, do you think it's important to vote and vote the right person in? Again, no absolutes. I know I, I don't want to say I'm being vague with these answers, but no, the deal is, do we, do we use it or is it using us? Like, I remember mean, uh, some, some years back, this whole thing, it's a vote or die. Our position, we have issues with that. You know what I'm saying? We have major struggles with that. You don't see no position, no absolute to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, in a, some, some, some sister ain't, never, ain't been in a relationship and she say, well, I'm going out with somebody. I don't care who it is. Guys get the word like, man, she, she, we ain't got to wash up. No, she going, it's a guarantee she going out with one of us. If a politician take that position, you feel what I'm saying? That they go vote, you feel what I'm saying? The deal is maybe we will, maybe we won't. You feel what I'm saying? But you have to, we, we got to flip the script. We told politicians, what is your position on the African anti-terrorism bill? What is your position on political prisoners? You know what I'm saying? What is your, what is your position on reparations? We have, we have to become a force to be reckoned with too, though. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't, even if you ain't got it, don't send the image out like, okay, I'm going to go for whichever. You know what I'm saying? We have to up the ante. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't feel comfortable coming up on some on talk show, pulling a bottle of hot sauce out their purse bag. You know what I'm saying? They don't feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying, well, playing some gospel song or some rap song. You know what I'm saying? Look at the individuals they bring as our spokespersons. It's saying so. Could you imagine the politicians bringing out some Woody Allen for them saying, you know, you show a spokesperson? We have to up the ante. Not community. Like, man, dig, man, you, hey, they, 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 they ain't so arrogant with our community. They ain't even lie to us. They, you know, you know, at least they, some community, they go make up a lie. They, they gonna come through your parade and you gonna vote for them. You gonna you know say, you, you gonna do one of us. No, we have to, man, up the ante. It's certain, it's certain, it's certain things come with us. You know what I'm saying? And don't, and don't go pick your usual suspect, your state sanctioned spokesperson, and say that, that speaks for us. Because some people just vote for people who look like us, especially if they're in in that seat, they'll vote for somebody who look like us, but a lot of times, are they really voting for that person or are they voting for the person that's pulling their strings? A lot of times, it's, 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 it's emotionalism with us, reactionary, what's popular, you know what I'm saying? They can, we can just hear the name. A lot of times we can't even associate, like the guy told me one time, he said, Chairman, even with the media, a lot of times I used to say, one time I was at this uh, uh, Bud Billiken parade, and I'm, I, I'm speaking, and his brother walked up to me, he's involved in electoral politics, he changed, he said something, that, Way out statement, you know what I'm saying? Something, something about, I don't even know what he said. He said something to the effect like, this is the best thing happened since slavery was in. So I pulled him to the side. I said, man, I'm out you for a minute, man. I said, dude, don't never say that nonsense you know, when I'm here. He said, Chairman Fred, I respect you. He said, but watch tonight on the news. Watch what gets on the news. He said, they're going to have me on now. And that night, and that nine o'clock news, he called me. So you watch it, yeah. And they played him. He said, you gotta, I said, you gotta understand, brother, I can't do that, though. Because you know, they, they'll take that, that'd be my sound bite for my life, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, a lot of times, we just, go, just regurgitate. We are, even right now, we gotta seize the time. What I mean by that is, it's a, even if we have differences with each other, ain't no gift rap revolution, there are no perfect allies. There's a certain sort of conversation that's happening now. People are discussing the makers of gym shoes, the music industry, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We have to, so we, we, so now, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, we gotta go past the elementary, man, who that's, man, she just fits your, man, she got a bad ass, come on, man, it's a different type of conversation you gotta come with in relationships, you know what I'm saying? In politics, we had, not, you know what I'm saying, it's a, we, man, the terms, what you on, okay, man, I disagree with the Black Panther Party, okay, what you doing? Ain't no, no, just no slick talking, you know what I'm saying, the Chairman Fred call or a lot of cats, the intellectual masturbation, a lot of cats like to do it on the living color, just says a bunch of words and terms. We talk concrete issues, and that's with everything, that's with, uh, that's the, uh, 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 entertainment, athletes, it was a climate in the 60s, where athletes, the athletes, was saying, how can I stand with the people? You know what I'm saying? I'm Muhammad Ali said, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going, you know what I'm going to fight. I'm, going, I'm not going to fight, fight in Vietnam. You weren't subjected to a, a climate where you was fighting to get a person to get, on a, 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 to get him a job on a quarterback football field. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The script been flipped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was a climate where Nipsey Russell talks about. He said, man, I'm doing. He said, man, I'm doing a comedy show, man. This lady come up in there, man. She pregnant with some bad little bullets across her chest. He kind of embellished that part. He told right. my mother. He told my mother. She 18 years old. Mm. She walk up to him. You know what I'm saying? She just she's 17 at the time. She come talk to him about the Black Panther Party program. He make a joke about. it. He say, man, I told him I'm not giving away no money for no guns. The next morning, I put an envelope under the door for the free breakfast program. Mm. Mm. It was a climate. Well, Richard Pryor, comedian genius Richard Pryor, talk about when he went on stool, he, he came out uh, 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 on New, Year, New Year's in the late 60s talking to Chairman Fred and took them out to dinner and donated to the free breakfast program. It was a climb with comedian genius Richard Pryor, December 29th in Long Beach, California, 1979, saying, hold on, shut the lights up. 
Turn the lights up. Man, we got Minister U.E.P. Newton right here. Wow. Fact, fast forward. D.C. y'all fly. I don't know if you see her. Yeah, yeah, I see it. In Chicago. Yeah. He, he, see, they took that time with his stage, and you'll say he sees the time. Because you'll say, he, he, it's, not, it's a different type of comedy we got to come with. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's the state. That's what we had to see. So the comedians, entertainers, the athletes, you know what I'm saying? And we got to reward those who do the right things, repercussion for those who don't. Man. Hey, man. That's Fred Hampton Jr. Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. How did... Okay. Explain to me, Chairman. Explain that term to me before we get off this set. I'm the international chairman of Black Panther Party Cubs. It's just, it's a, uh, when I, we relate to democratic centralism. Uh, not in plain lamest terms, similar to the Black, you know, the Black Panther Party, you had, you had the national chairman, who, uh, Chairman Bobby Seale, you had the national minister of defense, Minister U.E.P. Newton. Chairman Fred was the deputy chairman for the state of Illinois, largest chapter of the Black Panther Party. This was a structured organization. Checks and balances. You had the you had you had the Minister of Information, Minister of Education. You know what I'm saying? The Minister of Culture. Checks and balances. Your structured organization. Uh, we have to, with the Black Panther Party Cubs. We have Ambassador of International Affairs. We have a, our Deputy Chairwoman of the of the uh, Brazil. So we can call. What's happening in Sao Paulo right now? You know what I'm saying? Not what song popping. The, the politics. What's going on in the favelas? You know what I'm saying? The Quilombos. We also checks and balances. We have our uh, local court in New Orleans, Louisiana. Two o'clock. Do 18 years in that Golden Penitentiary. Structure. Checks and balances. You know what I'm saying? I'm the chief. I'm, I'm the, the chief theoretician. You know what I'm saying? The visionary. However, I, I, however, I relate to structure. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a dictator. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, we, 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 we serve the people. So I'm serving the people, and it's, it's a structure. Like it's certain. Like even in the movie, we struggled. That that, 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 that like when O'Neill was uh, contradicting with William O'Neill. Chairman Fred did not just throw people out of the party. You know what I'm saying? It's checks and balances. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's so when you say chairman, it's not just some. Oh, that's his son. He can't. No, 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 no. I could, man. It's man. Checks and balances. Checks and balances. Structure. Structure. Yes, indeed. Man, and our people need it, bro. Shh, hey, man, we fuck. we need it, and we got. And I got to tell you, thank you, thank you for uh, always uh, standing in the gap, man, for the people, being well, a servant. I thank, I thank man. you. I thank the people. You know what I'm saying? Because. Well, the people, sh I'm, dead, I'm dead, dead in the game. You know, hey, talking. man. Hey, we just love you, man. And we're going to keep on loving you, man, and thanking you. Amen. And me and you going to continue to have these conversations. The Lord say the same. I'm going to come to Chicago Show like right. I did last Show time. you right. In uh, the summertime. In the uh, summertime. Uh, we can't go in the world. We was in the summertime last time. Was it summertime? It was yeah. summer. Yeah. We came outside. Yeah. 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 Not in the wintertime. I can't argue with Chicago you on that. Chicago is early. I can't argue. I'm ready to get up out of the demo. I said, I can't argue with you on that. Real talk. So, hey, man, thank you so much, man. How can people get a hold to you if they're trying to, uh, you know, Man, get, hey, hit us, get, you. get us some speaking engagements out there. Chairman Fred Speaks at gmail.com. I'm going to say, I'm going to get my team tight. Get people recording with speaking engagements now. Chairman Fred Speaks at gmail.com. We'll support y'all. Can again hit us at Chairman Fred Jr. at gmail via PayPal. Uh, uh, cash out dollar sign say the Hampton House. I ask you this I love too. That, that I got I gotta ask you about uh, feeding the, the 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 homeless uh, the people who come hey, by. Yes. I gotta ask you about that. Yeah. We came there last time. I seen outside the the it, community refrigerator. refrigerator. Yeah. I mean, how's that whole man, uh, whole thing going? It, it, people, get, man, hey, we put man, it's, uh, the, the war stories that happened with that. I'm talking about you know, the, we write what was referred to as a, um, a food desert. The food twenty four hours a day. We certain the people come get the food and just to test them all. I, I want to. I, it's, it, it, could be, it could be a movie, a document you made yeah, just yeah. out filming that yeah, day. Yeah. People, some of our indigenous comrades, uh, the Tiny House War, just came back from the native community. Mm -hmm. They was talking about, just say, man, they tell, on the reservation, they were telling them, say, man, y'all should come see the actions of how was. The, the, and people say, how do you feed, how people come get food and still maintain their dignity? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's humbling. Yeah. Come get food. I tell you, we do certain things like we do barbecue in the front, you know, certain play the music. We win people so you can still come in with your, 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 your backbone intact. Yeah, 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 man, that's hard, man. Hey, man, we love you, man. Love right, love y'all right. Chairman back. Fred Hampton Jr. back on Boss Talk One on One once Boss again. Talk. Real talk. It's we'll going down. Look forward to coming back. We look forward to coming back. Man. Yes, indeed. Hey, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk One on One. What a boss is talk. And we out. Right on. So